Right, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install a leisure battery in the back of your van. Um, the reason you want to do this is because if you're going camping you don't want to be switching lights on, using electric in the back and everything and then wake up the next morning to find that you can't start your motor. Um, so you don't want to be using your main battery um, when you're camping. So this battery is for starting the motor in the morning. So we're going to install a leisure battery in the back and I'm going to show you how to wire that all up and what parts you need to do it. So this little device here is a split charge relay. I think this one is actually called a voltage sense relay. Um, what this does is it sits between your leisure battery and your main battery and this senses when the engine is turned on. When it does, it makes a connection between the two batteries, which means both batteries will be being charged when the engine's running. When the engine's turned off, it closes the connection, um, which means you can use the leisure battery as much as you want and it won't drain anything from the main battery because they are disconnected by this device. Um, you get different kinds of split charge relays. I went with a voltage sense relay, so it automatically detects um, the current. I think it's um, it says there, cut in 13.3 volts, cut out 12.8 volts. Um, so when your engine's running, your alternator's running, it'll actually be um, this top one here, slightly higher voltage, and this is how it knows whether your engine's turned on or off. Um, other ones, like a split charge relay, will take like um, a cable from this going to your ignition, so it'll literally just be able to tell when your ignition's on and off with the cable, but this one, you don't need to install that, so it's easy to install. Um, cost me around about, I think it was about £70 or something, I'll put the prices at the end. Um, but in order to install this, I'm first of all putting this lead through the firewall there. So this is going to have a fuse box here, it's going to be connected to the positive on my main battery. Um, and I'll show you that when it's done. Okay, so this is the final result. We've got the positive lead here, connected to the positive on the main battery. Going to a fuse box here. That is going through the firewall here comes out under there, under the floor. I've wired it all the way under this tray here. You can see it out the back here. It goes all the way across there into the cupboard. And then it's connected to the split charge relay, which is also ground itself. I'll uh, tell you about the ground in a minute. But the positive comes out of that, goes to the positive on the leisure battery. Now, I've had to ground the leisure battery as well, just to the um, chassis of the vehicle. So what I've done is I've just got a cable coming out of that, and then you can see there, I've, I've sort of sanded away and uh, uh, put a screw in there, and that's, uh, that's ground the leisure battery. That's what this is also ground to. And then from the leisure battery, that's where I can plug in all my electrics and appliances in the back. I've got... Um, the positive here going off into a fuse box. Um, how you have the correct fuses for the uh, correct wiring and appliances that you've got. Um, personally, I've got these installed, just a light there, and then USB charging points. Um, but if we test that it's working, so that's currently switched off. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna switch the engine on and that's going to activate the split charge relay so it opens up and the leisure battery is being charged as well as well as the main battery so I'm going to do that now so just look out for the light on that that should come on any second now there we go it's just detected that the voltage is higher it knows the engine's running it's switched itself on, which means that this battery is now being charged. And um, if I switch the engine off, we should see that this will go off any second. There we go, it switched itself off. And now we can use this battery as much as we like without worrying about it draining um, power from the main battery 
and that's pretty much how it works. It's as simple as that, really, really easy to install. And um, means that you can uh, use your electrics in the back. Cheers.